Yo, 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 what is going on, Hot COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today I am sluggishly reporting because I'm dying, but my missus behind me says I'm not dying. It's probably got some from the kids, who knows. Wanted to at least get this video out because it is, well, important, and I'm excited, as always. So, today we're going to be showing you off the top 25 alliances in the game as of yesterday on the 16th of September. We recorded this over about a two to two and a half hour window period, and I may end up switching some things up this time where we record some of the top stat series maybe within a day or two of posting instead of doing it how I have been doing where I just pull all the data and then I spread it out over about a week, week and a half where I'll do those uploads. And then because if I do it that way, the data is a little bit outdated in that regard. So we might try this. We'll see. Regardless of that, let's go ahead and show it off. Now, let me preface lastly that the reason I'm not necessarily doing the differentials here for the up-downs and then what the plus-minuses are is because, again, I really want to, but what I'm starting to realize is that because of all the resets that are happening and because of the fact that you're not able to have a, a consistent alliance capacity, which I would really love for them to add into the game, where if you end a season at 155 players out of 170, you should be able to keep all 155 players in your alliance going into that next season, even if the capacity number, the number on the right, changes if it goes from if it goes down from 176 to 80 as an example right like we've been seeing in season 2 when you, or future seasons hopefully season 2 and beyond where you start a new alliance or you, you restart the alliance and or a new alliance and you get an 80 member capacity compared to season 1 right so they kind of double it up i would just like for the players to carry over i just think to me that makes sense right at minimum now if they want to do something else and they would just want to leave the capacity intact where maybe you have max Oh gosh, why am I forgetting the name of the member capacity alliance tech if that's already maxed out? Uh, where you have all three of those tiers, right? In addition to your capacity being raised to 80 by default, that'd be great too. Uh, but again, I would least like for players to be carried over. With that being said, let's go ahead and show off the goods. So here we go for our top 25, and we'll kind of run through this pretty simply. Right, so I'll do this bottom up this time, and then we'll talk about some things that we have here uh, for the information. So starting bottom up, we got Trib Tribe coming in at number 25 at 4.233 mil from S2-6. Now, the kingdom numbers here, right, S1 is, is season 1, S2 is season 2, and then the dash 2, dash 1. I'll just give you an example of that. Let me switch this just so people can follow along appropriately here. If you see up here, right, it says S2-7, I'll actually zoom in, or as, as I refer to it as, but you'll see S2-1007, right? So if I go here into characters for I spell note, you'll see all of these, right? S2, it all start with 1, so it's 1001, 1002, 1003. I just call it dash 1-2 dash because they're all 1000 at the moment. So just... Again, to give a little bit of context there for why it is that way, making it easier to read, I hope. So, let's head on back. And we got Tribe Trib coming in, number 25 there from S2-6. We got number 24, HRT Heartless, 4.28, 4 million from S2-8. We got number 23, ETS The Eternals, 4.36 billion from S129. Um, or I guess this would really be kind of S1+, plus, if you will. Uh, we got HOW Howl here from House of Pools 22, 4.38 billion S2 1. We got number 21, GG83, gang gang. Oh, I wish I wasn't dying. I could have said that better. 4.388 billion uh, from S2 11. We got 11A and number 20 at 4.413 billion S1 S1 31. We got number 19, EXPX Parvis Magna. I'm going to have to Google what that means. 4.45 billion S125. And we got number 18, RKO or Zero Ragnarok. 4.46 billion S2 1. We got number 17, Squiggly TD Heart the Devil's Rejects. 4.51 billion S2 4. Number 16, ASC The Ascended. 4.52 billion S2 5. Number 15, breaking our top 15 here, TM02 The Monsters 2. 
4.588 billion from S2-1. Number 14, END Endgame. 4.68 billion S2-6. Number 13, MT, we got Moon Tree. 4.74 billion in S2-5. Number 12, BRT, Bidget Ron? Bidget Ron? I, I don't know if this was like a play on Bridgerton or something else. You guys have to let me know in the comments. 4.78 billion S1-29. Number 11, DNS, 4.87 billion s2-2 breaking into our top 10 number 10 mf maverick force maybe something on top gun have to let me know on that one 4.933 billion s2-2 number 9 9 tr team rocket love the pokemon inclusion there 4.933 billion from s1-30 Number eight, TA the Avengers, 5.011 from S2-1. Uh, we got OH-I, 100 Immortal, 5.18 billion, S1-27. We got number six, EIS Eminence and Shadow, 5.22 billion, S2-7. We got now our big top five boys here, BXS Blood O Syndicate, 5.322 billion from S2-3. Number four, we got LV Legio 6 Vitrix or VI, 5.0. You guys have to let me know what that one means too. 5.40 billion from S1-26. Number three, we got BDO Blood Oath. 5.42 billion from S2-2. TM the Monster, 5.43 billion in our big top two here, S2-1. And then we have the new number one currently, right? Remember, this is frequent and will change. <laughs> but TFS, the Freak Show, 6.73 billion from S2-4. Now, you'll notice the previous top was... TA at 7.382, right from when we took the data last month. And that was because when we took it, it was a little bit more towards the end of the season. So, again, right, players are still powering up, still recovering um, as well, trying to get that max alliance tech. And I'm sure there's other factors, right, if they're not necessarily spreading out the, the power as much, right, probably was a bit more consolidated. There's a few things that go into it, right? So, again, this is one of the reasons why I would really love for there to be home kingdom leaderboards, because I think... Pull, me pulling data in this way would be so much easier and on on top of alliances not resetting at least the specific member capacity the tech i'm, I'm okay with because they've been doing that consistently enough um, and i can kind of understand and get behind why they're doing it so that's not really as much as a kind of a thorn for me really the member capacity is i would love for that to kind of stay as is and then i'd also love for them to add home kingdom leaderboards because then when we go about pulling data we can pull accurate data at that point right or at least incredibly more accurate data that isn't factored by season resets and what the member capacity is at that moment right that's very much a big play here or a big input when it comes to me showing off kind of who the current strongest alliances are right it's always going to be a little watered down unfortunately that's just the way it is because there's never going to be an exact day where I could line up every single kingdom in every single season that is ending their season at the same time, which would be ideal for me to go in and pull data from. It's just never going to be that way. So hopefully that'll be something they may consider adding in. I would love to see those two things being done. Uh, with that in mind, right, we do at least have the minimum or the bubble position raised for 25. You can see 3.552, 4.233, right? So you're looking at almost 750, 700. That you're looking at about 700 mil increase. So that's nice. I love the fact that the bottom is increasing and the top isn't exponentially increasing, right? So we're kind of getting more to that sandwich medium, which I love when we take a look at power because to me it, it it shows that the top alliances aren't necessarily spreading out and the power isn't becoming even more imbalanced or disproportionate we're actually seeing it get closer which to me is great because if you see these alliances get matched up right and again bear in mind this is still early on right and take this with a little bit of a grain of salt because as i said those other two things aren't really being done right now so it is hard to really kind of get in uh, incredibly accurate gauge but i at least like to see what i'm seeing thus far right we'll see if this plays out the same way in the next month but so far the bubble has been increasing where the top end hasn't been increasing as much as the bubble has which i really love to see so that's going to do it for me right now again would love to hear what you guys think on this any new additions you see here that you like any returning names Again, I really wish one of the other things I could do if I had the time, which again, if I was doing it full time, I, I probably could, right? Where I'd really love to kind of reach out to the alliances and get a little bit of a backstory so I could maybe kind of provide that during these videos. But again, I know a good amount of you like to know kind of who the top dogs are 
at a specific time. So again, I hope you enjoy these monthlies. Hope you enjoy the time it takes to pull the data and obviously show it off to you. With that in mind, that is going to do it for me. Um, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Lastly, I should say, because I totally forgot, which is, right, this data was pulled from S1, I think, all the way up to 180. 184. So I went from Kingdom 1 to 184. I totally forgot to mention that. Uh, because once we got to about 181, 182, we started seeing drop-off where we weren't seeing as strong of alliances and or as strong as players. So unless there was just like some freak alliance or freak player that maybe happened after 184 from 185 on to the newer kingdoms, my apologies if I may have missed that. Now, I will officially end. Thank you guys so much. As always, hope you enjoy. Until next time, I'll catch you later.